Good morning, my loves. Welcome back. So in today's video, we are going to talk about synastry again. And we are talking about a very intense aspect. And this is the aspect between the ascendant of one person and Pluto of the other. What is this uh, get together all about? And what can we learn? Well, first, let me tell you, this is a relationship that neither partner will ever forget. If we will not be able to make this last, we will still forever remember that person. And you may say, well, I remember all of my exes. <laughs> that may be, but this one you will remember in a very different way. So what do we have here? Well, we have the identity of one person meet the soul and the soul's intention, the soul's potential, um, the unearthing of the other person. And you can already see, it's almost like we are, have, we are dealing with very, very, very different energies here. And also different energies when it comes to intensity. Because the identity of one person, it's almost like it's a layer. It's like the outer layer. It's not that you can just um, disregard it right? Because it's just the outer layer. No, no, it's still, a, it's an important part of that person. Um, but from an intensity level, we can't compare that to Pluto. That is just the volcano, right? It's that volcano energy of the other person. Now, when the volcano energy the unearthing potential of one person meets that outer layer that we slowly build. Oh, we are in for life changes. Life changes particularly uh, when it comes to the ascendant person. Yes, the Pluto person will also be changed in this relationship, but the ascendant person will completely, completely be changed on that um, outer layer, um, on that identity layer. The identity of that ascendant person going into the relationship will be a completely different one leaving this relationship. And let me tell you, I've been there and it is it is factual. I went into a relationship as the ascendant person um, with a Pluto, con with the other person having their Pluto conjunct my ascendant. And it was a life changing relationship, life changing. I could have not, I could have not imagined who I would become through that relationship. Um, in the way I approach life, right? Because that's what the ascendant and the outer layer is about. The, how do we approach life? How do we look at life? Also at the possibilities, because remember, Pluto is the soul's potential. And when we meet someone's soul potential, we are faced with the greater potential of life, also ours. So what we've learned is that we limit we limited ourselves when it comes to our identity when we when it comes to who we believed to be who we believed who we that we are that Pluto person will show us that that was just the layer and that layer will change and it will change in a way that is not, not easy for the ascendant person. 
again, the Pluto person will also, um, through their own intensity, in conjunction with the Ascendant, because the Ascendant brings something in too, right? That the Pluto person will absorb and, and uh, learn through. But really the, the Ascendant person is in focus here. The Ascendant person is who is going to be changed on a level um, that will then be seen by the outer world. It's not just that the Ascendant person understands that they now look at life a different way. They now see different opportunities. They are now, they have a different identity now. Their identity has completely shifted. People on the outside, people that you meet, people that already know you, but you know, they will understand and see, oh, wait a minute, you changed. Like you are not the same person anymore because it's, it's the ascendant. They will see it. It's not something that um, changes on a, on a personal level that no one sees. No, it's the outer layer, the identity. It's an identity shift. It's, uh, it doesn't mean you're not going to be changed um, on a very deep level. You are. <laughs> you definitely are. Be and because of that, your outer layer changes and shifts because it's such a deep intervention that comes in from Pluto, right? You, it is truly an intervention. So on a core level, you are changed. And it's such a deep change that it is affecting that outer layer. Often um, the identity of a person is really the hardest to change. The outer layer, it's like, it's almost like it's a protective layer as well. And um, we, it's easier for us to pretend. Doesn't mean that, it, again, it, it it doesn't mean that we are evil people pretending to be someone that we are not. No, it's more like a, it's a protection layer that is coming from a relatively unconscious place. Right? The Ascendant is a very interesting, and we will talk about that in a different, a different video, but the Ascendant is a very, very interesting um, energy within us because it is partially conscious and is partially completely unconscious. So we are always playing um, and dancing when it comes to our ascendant. And depending on who we meet and who influences us, right? What is their energy when it is Pluto? Well, it is their most intense part. Depending on that, depending on which energy we are interacting with, they either speak to our conscious part or our unconscious part, right? When it comes to our ascendant. Um, and when, when we deal with Pluto here, we will be changed, uh, we will be changed forever. The only other uh, energy that can shift us, not in the same way, but in a very um, deep way is uh, Saturn. When we meet someone Saturn um, in a conjunction, when you know someone else's Saturn is conjunct our ascendant, we will also be um, changed. But it will be, first of all, it will come about in a very different way. Um, it will feel different. It will not feel like an unearthing. Saturn is not unearthing anything. Saturn will put a lot of boundaries in, in your way, a lot of obstacles, like boundary here, boundary here, boundary here. And you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. I can't feel myself anymore. I don't know who I am anymore with, with all this, these boundaries around me that are not mine. Pluto is, is the opposite. He will just tear down all the boundaries. There are no boundaries anymore. And now you're completely lost and you have to reinvent yourself, basically. It's like a reinvention of your persona, your identity. But it's coming from a deep level and it will trickle outwardly until the last layer is changed and shifted. So again, if you get into a relationship with someone, there's their Pluto on your ascendant, you'll, you'll be forever changed. And I'm laughing right now, but let me tell you, I cried a lot. It was, it was, a, it was beautiful, a beautiful relationship, but it was also very painful, very painful. And I had to face myself in a way I've never had to face myself before. And that was the only way to actually get through it. Because I could have sit there and 
just blamed the other and said, oh, they are evil, they are awful. Ah, oh. No, I had to really start to go much deeper, deeper than I ever uh, went before. And, you know, deal with, the, with all the skeletons in my closet all the stuff that I didn't want to look at. And not just that I didn't want to look at, but that I just couldn't, I couldn't see it. I couldn't, it couldn't get there. Pluto helped me, that Pluto helped me to go there. And usually we are not ready, we are not ready, but we'll have to do it anyways. So yeah, this is a very, very, very intense aspect that that you, you, you can't take this one lightly. In this relationship, you do need to have other aspects to lighten the load. Otherwise, it is just going to be super heavy. So in my relationship, we had a lot of light aspect, a lot of beautiful, harmonious aspect. The moons, our moons were, you know, in touch. They liked each other a lot. They, they, they you know, I, we understood each other on that level really well. We, we had a lot of harmonious aspects. Um, that help lighten that load because otherwise that is a load that pulls you that really pulls you down but once you hit rock bottom there is another level <laughs> that's what i what i've learned i thought like oh i'm hitting rock bottom i'm i'm at rock bottom now oh there's a deeper level yeah that's what i've learned in this relationship rock bottom is not the bottom there is another level below the rock. And once you get there, that's when you really start to connect to who you truly are. That's what that's one thing that I've learned uh, in this relationship. I really get to know myself on a deep level that I'm, I'm so thankful for. I am so thankful for. So if you have any questions about this aspect, leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, subscribe and um, I will see you in the next video.